Hello everybody from Plant Reviews UK. Okay, so I just uh, made this video about uh, tulip astapfia and I told, discussed about uh, the uh, fact that uh, tulips in general are very difficult to self-pollinate. Only some species and varieties allow self-pollination. Uh, I tried to uh, self-pollinate, uh, um, actually cross-pollinate among different flowers, this variety of uh, Sistola uh, forma stapfiae that I believe is forma stapfiae, uh, but uh, um, I never pollinated this one that is uh, a uh, Sistola, I believe uh, the real Sistola for the fact that it's shorter and with a lot with leaves a lot wavier. So uh, what uh, I will show you what basically you do for uh, pollinating a tulip. Basically you uh, these are the tulip flower is uh, as uh, as you can see as six um, uh, rod shaped structures that are the Anthers that have a gray, usually grayish black pollen, and uh, a, a stigma that is uh, the yellow triangular part at the center. Hopefully, you are able to see here the stigma now. When attempting to pollinate a tulip, uh, you can either use a brush and take the pollen from the anthers. Or actually, you can uh, yeah, you can see the uh, uh, purplish, grayish black uh, pollen. Uh, sorry for because my mobile is not really focusing very well. Yeah, so you can see this uh, um, pollen. Now uh, you put the pollen on the stamen like this, and basically you hope that. Uh, uh, it is uh, will pollinate. So this one is a self a true self pollination. I pollinated the same flower where I took the pollen from. This one is a cross pollination, uh, a cross pollination with the same species with the same form because I take it from different flowers. Uh, I, yeah, I took the pollen from a different flower. However, if uh, these two tulips. Uh, are bulbs that have uh, originated from the same bulb that basically multiplied by offsets even if they look different plants they are actually the same background the same genetic background so uh, if this tulip doesn't allow sort of pollination we still not be able to um, cross pollinate uh, to this cross pollination will not be actually functional because uh, these two plants are actually clones so it will be like pollinating the same flower what I will do uh, is then take uh, another, just to try another hunter from the same flowers and put it on this other, um, on this other um, form of Sistola, the one that I believe is Sistola form of Stapfiae because it's taller and with broader leaves. And uh, try to put it here on the stigma. I am really sorry that is uh, um, not very easy to um, do. I'll try to at least use another flower. Okay, this one it's easier. Uh, you can actually see in this uh, tulip also the pollen is different. This one, for example, is yellow. So it is quite uh, peculiar. So, so yes, I'm not even sure if actually these are two different forms of the same species or actually two different species and I don't know which one is which. Uh, anyway, they were both sold to me as uh, Tulipa Stapfiae, so again, today is the 9th of, so this is the one that has uh, uh, yellow pollen, and this one, the short one, is the one that has uh, uh, purplish uh, uh, pollen, purplish black pollen. So, uh, we'll uh, try again to get the enter from here and then 
put some pollen on this flower I hope that you can see how I do it it's difficult because with my hand I'm holding the mobile and with another hand I am uh, actually trying to pollinate the flower So yeah, you can see now the uh, stigma, uh, the female part of the flower, that uh, the triangular part became uh, purplish. And I will repeat this one here. Okay, so as you can see now, the stigma is purple, and this is an indication that the pollen is now here. Now, it's always better to uh, pollinate the flowers uh, when, especially in tulips, when they are fully open, like in a sunny day, like it was uh, until a few minutes ago. Anyway, because uh, uh, these are the conditions where uh, uh, in nature pollination occurs. Um, also, ideally, they should be fresh. These ones are a little bit uh, fading away, however, are still open, so hopefully. Uh, being cross-pollinated this year, they will actually produce some seeds. Uh, I pollinated them uh, last year and two years ago but uh, they develop uh, seed pods uh, but actually all uh, the seeds were like uh, i think it's called chaff so it's they were just like uh, empty cases with act actually the embryo uh, when a seed uh, or tulip uh, is fertile you can actually see the embryo um, inside and i have a video about it and i will put it on the description uh, at the moment i will just um, leave it this one pollinated by this i will not cross pollinate this one i will not put the pollen from this one for, by to this ones because I will see if actually I can get pure this uh, species uh, by pollinating just these two flowers. With these ones uh, I know that uh, these flowers will not cross pollinate uh, among them because and so this is something that I strongly believe uh, that the pl these plants are actually produced about the same bulb and uh, the same genetic background. So I hope that at least I will have some seeds this time. Now they have, they have cross, -pollina cross pollinated between this and this tulip. And of course, I will keep you updated about the. Um, I will keep you updated about the uh, development of the seed pods, hopefully. As usual, I hope that you enjoy the video. If you like this video, it would be great if you can please give a thumbs up. And if you like this video and the other videos on my channel, it would be great if you can please subscribe. It is completely free for you, but in this way, uh, it, you uh, help me to promote my channel on the YouTube platform. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.